All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give our praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaqwa Dash. Double honest to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone taught us the truth and citations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iwa Lummy from the GMS Chicago branch here in Chicago. Come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope it be edifying. You know, just coming back at you with another lesson. I'm mean, just entitled it, you know, um, salvation is not universal. Salvation is uh is for the Israelites only, you know, because what the Christian church and these people, you know, in general is under the notion that you know salvation is for everybody that Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, that Yahweh is going to be, uh, send Yahweh Shai to, uh, to deliver everybody, and that's not the case, you know. Salvation is not universal. Salvation is only for the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And to take it a step further, you know, only uh, only the elect of those uh of the Israelites is going to uh, be delivered. But just to understand, you know, uh, you know, basically uh, who salvation is for, you have to understand who the Lord is dealing with. You know, you got to understand that the Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. You know, you have to understand that the Lord only gave the commandments, the covenant only to the Israelites. You know, these are the things, the basic things that you need to understand before you can understand, you know, uh, salvation being only for the Israelites. So this is the book of Psalms 147 and 19. You know, I'm going to just start at this one. It says he showed his word unto Jacob. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel, ye have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Right. Ultimately, the covenant, you know, the law, statutes, and the commandments are only given to Israel. You know, if you read Deuteronomy 7 and 6, you know that, you know, Yahweh Bashim al Shai has chosen Israel to be a special people unto himself above all people upon the face of the earth. So, you know, that the covenant, that the law, statutes, and commandments are only given, you know, to Israel. Also, salvation was only given to Israel. So, with that in mind, let's just jump straight into it. Because you have to understand who the Lord is ultimately dealing with. You know, as the scriptures say, you know, he's not sent but unto the lost sheep of, uh, of the house of Israel. So, so that we made those few points, you know, clear, I'm going to just jump straight into it. This is the book of Isaiah 11 and 11. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Pathros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. All right, the Lord is going to deliver us out of these different countries, because you have to understand also that Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Lord has scattered, you know, the Israelites amongst all these heathen nations, you know, by the way of captivity, you know, by the way of persecution. We were scattered through, uh, throughout all these different lands, you know. And to basically prove that, I'm going to get um, Ezekiel 36. Because a lot of people is under the notion that, you know, these are the people that the Lord is going to deliver. These heathen nations, you know, the ones I just mentioned. But that's talking about the Israelites scattered in uh, all these different lands. So this is the book of Ezekiel 36 and 19. It says, and I scattered them among the heathen and they were dispersed through the countries. According to their way and according to their doings, I judged them. Right, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the ultimately the one that scattered us throughout these different lands. And throughout these different lands, the Lord is going to uh, deliver our people out these different lands. You know, as I read, let me go back to it. Isaiah 11 and 11 says, And it shall come to pass that in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Right, that remnant is talking about the elect. It says, Which shall be left from Assyria, which are, uh, you know, Coming out of uh, Israelites coming out of that land of Syria and from Egypt, Israelites coming out that land of Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. Right. The Lord is going to deliver the Israelites that were scattered throughout these different lands. What I read back in the Ezekiel 36, you know, how we were scattered throughout these different lands, you know, because a lot of people love to, you know, uh, get it confused with these other nations, you know, being involved in, uh, in salvation. Which is not the case. It says, verse 12, it says, He shall set up an ensign for the nations and, uh, and shall assemble the outcast of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right. Because we were scattered throughout uh, the world, you know, throughout the four corners of the world. And I read back uh, back at verse 11, you can, you can read, you know, the lands that we were scattered to. So let's continue. Because these are the basic, you know, points that, you know, uh, that the Christian church and these different people don't understand. 
that salvation is not universal. Salvation was only given to the Israelites. And like I said, to take it a step further, in this time, only the elect of those people will be delivered. You know? So this is the book of John 4 and 22. You know, and I just made a few points. You know, you have to understand who the Lord is dealing with. You have to understand, you know, uh, who the, you know, like I, uh, I read Psalms 147 at the beginning of the lesson. You have to understand who the covenant was given to. You have to understand who the laws were given to. And then overall, you have to understand who the Lord is dealing with, you know, and that can ultimately, you know, uh, help you to who salvation was given to. So this is the book of John 4 and 22. It says, ye worship, ye know not what we know that, so like it, we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews, right? Salvation is of the Jews. And then say these other nations, you know, salvation is of the Jews. And that's who you have about Shimei Al-Shai is coming back to deliver, you know, of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, 12,000 out of each tribe, you know, and also the, the Numamutu, which is the one third, which I'm going to actually uh, uh, bring up in a second. And also, you know, just to make another point who the Lord is only dis uh, dealing with, this is the book of Matthews 15 and 24. It says, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Just a basically another cut to, you know, uh, these other nations being involved in uh, in our salvation. Salvation wasn't given to the other nations because what? How about Shemiah Oshai was ultimately dealing with the other nations, you know? Like I said at the beginning of the lesson, I'm going to say it again. You know, you have to understand who the Lord is dealing with before you can understand who salvation was given to, you know? Like I said, what I read back in the Psalms 147, you know, the laws, the covenant was given unto our people, you know, to uh, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, you know? But let's continue. The Lord is only dealing with Israel. This is the book of Matthew 24 and 31. It says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. All right. What I read back in that Ezekiel, you know, uh, I believe it was uh, 34. Was it? Yeah, I believe it was Ezekiel, the 34th chapter. What I uh, what I just read, you know, how, you know, we were scattered throughout these different lands. The Lord is going to, you know, the Lord was the one that did it to us. The Lord is ultimately going to be uh, be the one to bring us out of these different lands, you know. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall uh, gather together his elect. Right. And we're going to find out who those uh, those elect uh, are. There are 12,000 out of each trial, which you can read in Revelation, the seventh chapter, you know. From the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Let's actually look up that word elect, you know. Because like I mentioned, the Lord is not dealing, you know, with these heathen nations. Even the Lord is not even dealing with the whole nation of Israel. So this is a uh, strong G 15, uh, 1588 electos. It's a uh, strong G 1588 eclectos. 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 Right. And we're going to get who the elect are because what the Lord uh, is not dealing with these other nations and the Lord as a whole is not. You know, uh, is dealing with the whole nation of Israel right now. The Lord is only going to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel. So it says, uh, picked out, chosen, chosen by Yahweh to obtain salvation through Hamashiach. It says, Christians are called, chosen, or elect of Yahweh. The Messiah is called, elect, as appointed by Yahweh to the most exalted office conceived. Uh, the best of its kind or class, excellence, permanent, applied to certain individuals, uh, Christians. Right. And we're going to find out who the elect is, because what a lot of people get confused, you know, that they're trying to put, you know, um, these different nations, these heathen nations a part of the elect, you know, which, you know, a lot of these people don't understand the Bible. The majority of these people do not understand the Bible. So I'm going to read this Matthew 24 and 31. I'm going to go to the Revelation 7. And it says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall Gather to gather his elect, you so called of uh, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Right, meaning what? These different countries uh, around the world that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to uh, gather us from. So, with that uh, in mind, let's go to Revelation seven, because salvation is only for uh, Israel. It says in the book of Revelation seven and four it says, and I heard a number of them which were sealed. And were uh, and there were sealed one hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel, right? It didn't say of the children of Elam, it didn't say of the children of Esau, 
It didn't say of the children of Moab. It didn't say of the children of Ammon. It said of the the tribes of the children of Israel. It says of the tribe of Judah was sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben was twelve uh, were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed twelve thousand. Uh, it says of the tribe of Simeon were sealed twelve thousand. And of the tribe of Levi were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Issachar was sealed twelve thousand. Right, this is going into the elect, the ones that's going to be delivered. You know. And then didn't mention nothing about these heathen nations. These are all the sons, you know, 12, 12 tribes, you know, uh, of the elect of the nation of Israel that's going to be delivered, you know. And these other heathen nations don't have no, you know, it's not uh, it's not a part of that. It says of the tribe, okay, it says of the tribe of Zebulun were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. And after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number. Of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues, stood before the throne of the before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Right, a lot of people also get uh, Revelation seven and nine misconstrued also when it talks about the great multitude, because a lot of people like to say, "Oh yeah, that's when uh, the heathens will be grafted in." No, that's talking about the Israelites that were scattered, you know, throughout these different lands, you know, speaking different languages, you know, and things like that. But I'm going to actually prove that also. So I'm going to read Revelation 7 and 9 again. It says, After this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, which I'm going to actually get into also, and kindreds and people in tongues, stood before the throne, before the Lamb, that Lamb is Yahweh Shai, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So let's actually break down Revelation 9, 7 and 9. And I just basically read it in um, the Ezekiel, 30, the 36th chapter, you know? How the Lord, you know, we were scattered throughout these different lands. You know, we were speaking different languages. You know, we basically, as a people, you know, um, our people were scattered throughout these different lands. They started to take on the customs of these different nations. So I'm going to read Ezekiel 36 again because I uh, read it uh, before I actually get into the point. So this is the book of Ezekiel 36 and 19. It says, And I scattered them among the heathen, and they uh, were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings. I judged them. Right, so we were scattered throughout these different lands, and we start to speak, you know, we, st we, st we start to take on the customs of these different nations. We start to look like these different nations. So you're going to have Israelites looking like these other nations. But what? They're Israelites. You know, their father, you know, their father goes back to an Israelite, you know? You can read that in uh, the book uh, uh, Numbers, you know? But just to basically say also that, um, like I said, you know, we were scattered throughout these different lands, you know, uh, Revelation 7 and 9, because a lot of um, people love to misconstrue, you know, they love to add the heathens involved in this. But that great multitude is talking about the Israelites, you know, that were scattered throughout these different lands, you know, that's looking like the other heathens, you know. Still before the throne and before the land, which is your Shai, clothed the white robes and palms in their hands. Right. That's also uh, that's going into uh, Israel. You know, the Israelites scattered, uh, scattered through, uh, throughout these different lands, which I read in uh, Ezekiel 36, how the Lord, you know, ultimately scattered us through these different uh, these different lands. You know, because what? The Lord was angry with us, you know. So I'm going to read uh, Matthew 24 again. It's the book of Matthew 24 and 31. It says, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall together uh, gather together his elect from the four winds, from the end of the heaven to the other. Right. Just basically prove that we were scattered throughout these different lands. And how about Shemal Shah is going to gather us, you know, uh, out these lands that he uh, sent uh, sent us to. What I read back in that, um, Isaiah 11, you know, the Lord is going to gather us from out of Egypt, out of Pathros, out of Assyria, you know. These are the different lands that we were scattered to, and these are the different lands that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to get us out of. You know, salvation is only for uh, for the Israelites. This is the book of Psalms fifty three and six. It says, "Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion, when Yahweh bringeth back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad." Right. It didn't mention these other nations. It said Jacob shall be rejoiced and Israel shall be glad. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, in this day and age, only the elect, you know, what I read back in Revelation 7, 12,000 out of each tribe. And that great multitude being the one-third that the Lord is going to deliver out these different lands, which are Israelites. You know, the Lord is not, there's no, you know, um, universal salvation for everybody. The salvation is only for the Israelites. You know, I can't stress that enough. But 
let's continue. Yeah, I pretty much made the point. You know, salvation being, you know, of Israel. But let me go actually go back to Isaiah 11 again. I'm going to close out with that one. Just to, you know, further bring the point home. Bear with me for a second. This is the book of Isaiah 11 and 11. It says, It shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Right, his people. It says, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathos and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from uh, Hamath and from the islands of the sea. Right, these are Israelites scattered, you know, in these different lands that Yahweh Shemiel Shai scattered us too, you know. And these are the ones that Yahweh Shemiel Shai is going to deliver. The Israelites that scattered throughout these different lands, you know. And like I mentioned before, a lot of people love to get this, you know, confused with these you know, uh, with uh, with the heathens getting salvation also, which is not the case. It says, verse twelve, and he uh, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right, and I read back in Revelation seven that you know the Lord, you know, is going to uh, is going to you know is going to deliver uh, his elect. You know, twelve thousand out of each tribe and that great multitude in Revelation seven and nine, which are Israelites. The Lord is going to deliver. You know, just to say, you know, to end it off that, you know, salvation is not universal. It's only for Israel in this day, only for the elect of Israel, because the Lord is not also the Lord is not dealing with the whole nation of Israel. You know, only the elect will get delivered, not everybody else, not these heathens, especially. So with that being said, I hope it was edifying. I want to end up by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash, double honest to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, taught us the truth, and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. Lord willing, I hope this is edifying, and until next time, wah, ababababah.